And the third clip we've got today is uh, by uh, Laura Cantrell. Uh, Laura's obviously uh, probably sick of everyone quoting that uh, she was John Peel's favourite singer. Uh, so I'll not say it. I've got a, I've got a old leaflet. Laura's on there. Laura's on there with uh, Julie Holland and the Resentments and Tony Joe White, Bob Andy, Paul Birch. That must have been a hell of a uh, program I put out. A beautiful picture of uh, uh, Laura Cantrell there. And uh, so she's been playing a long, long time for, her. and um, she's doing a song here about um, drinking, which is nice. And um, here it is. Ever 
folks, I just want to say a big congratulations to Graham and the whole Jumpin' Hot Club family. Um, I think my first gigs outside of Scotland, one of them must have been coming down to play Jumpin' Hot Club. I think I opened for Slade Cleaves and um, was playing with either the Radio Sweethearts from up in Glasgow or John Miller from the Radio Sweethearts. Uh, we might have done a duo there. Uh, I know we did a duo there. I don't remember which the first time was that we played, but it was somewhere in that time in you know, 2000, 2001. And uh, I just always remember feeling so welcomed at the Jumpin' Hot Club and, and marveling really at this little oasis of, um, you know, real enthusiasm for Americana music before we even called it Americana, when we were still struggling with alt country or the alternative <laughs> or whatever we were, we were uh, trying to sort of, whatever name we were trying to pin on it in the day. Um, but one of my favorite memories actually is ha after having played Jumpin' Hot Club, um, you know, early on, um, was being back in the States and being at South by Southwest and bumping into Graham. And I forget, there was somebody else he was with who I thought was involved with the Jumpin' Hot Club. But they were going from gig to gig, from day party to day party, from the Broken Spoke to Yard Dog to the Continental. <laughs> I bumped into them several times. They were having the best time. And um, it really underscored to me um, that, you know, before... Um, you know, before you, you the, go and, and decide, oh, I'm going to put on gigs, you know, uh, you know, in my community for this type of music, there was this real hardcore just fandom for the music itself and, um, you know, that would bring them all the way, you know, to Texas in March uh, to see shows. And it just always impressed me that, um, you know, there was underneath all the business of it all was this great enthusiasm and love for the music. And um, yeah, I think the artists all really feel that when they play the Jumpin' Hot Club, this real welcome, welcoming and sense of, um, you know, uh, support, really. Um, you know, otherwise, if there weren't people like Graham and Jumpin' Hot Club and maybe some of our friends, we also have had gigs put on by in Sheffield, and Nottingham, and those other towns in Northern England that, you know, we might not uh, have had opportunities to, to come and build uh, audiences in the UK. So, um, you know, it's just uh, really a great run you've had at um, Jumpin' Hot Club. And here's to uh, when we can come back and play some gigs. You better have me over to play an anniversary gig once you are able to do so. Once we can all get out of our own apartments and homes and uh, play music and drink in a big room together again. I'll look forward to doing that um, up with you guys in Newcastle. So um, Graham and crew, as we say in New York City, mazel tov on all your um, many years that you've been doing this. And here's to many, many more. Thanks.